Yeah, what's going on guys? Uh, back out here at Kevin once again, but today's a bit different because I'm currently using Insta 361R. Um, currently shooting on the 4K module, um, but the main thing I'm out here to test today is the 360 with all the whiz bam mounts on my helmet and shit like that. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. I'm a pretty um, work got one of these so i've been told to go outside use it learn how to use it and all that jazz so let's uh let's let's get into it this isn't going to be like a full-blown review just because i'm sort of a little bit crunched for time at the moment so it's really just going to be like a first impressions first just use first i'm realistically using 360 footage first thing off the bat will be the uh the unicorn mount which is probably going to be my favorite uh we're going to go straight up then we'll go the mount straight forward and then the mount straight backwards the one thing i've automatically really enjoy about the pack that they give you is they give you this little uh i guess you could call it a spanner um but for the mounts that's just it's something that's so simple that actually is so handy to have um i wish gopro did something like this anyway let me put this mount on my head and we'll give this a tick <laughs> Especially with like an open face helmet, the helmet moves a lot. It's not exactly the worst thing, but my glasses are a little bit saggy, but because they were bound, the helmet was bound, it's gonna actually cause them to fall off. Uh, I'm gonna change the angle now um, to behind uh, and then see what that looks like. <laughs> Next attachment will be um, <laughs> will be the forward helmet mount, I guess. Something like this. Oh my god, this is very, very awkward to ride with. Already, I haven't even started riding. Maybe I need to tighten my helmet up too. That's a bit better.
this is the undervised amount. Uh, you guys know that this is a fan favorite, so let's see how this guy looks. chest mount the one thing I have already noticed is that like just like the the noises that it makes to power on and power off and start just sound real cheap hey not that that's like a huge deal breaker but it like it just sounds I don't know it doesn't sound good <laughs> like when you turn on like the GoPro uh, it sounds like you know it sounds good but if you turn this thing on going to wrap up today's video the first look at uh, I guess the Insta360 ONE R. Uh, I only did use the uh, 360 module um, I just personally didn't really see the value in testing out the normal module uh, from what I've seen and watched doesn't really seem to be that much better than like the GoPro if not they're pretty on par with each other uh, I obviously probably will use it moving forward at work and stuff like that so uh, there probably will be some more footage of it um, and I'll probably use this camera a lot more in the future uh, <laughs> in regards to the camera itself like they're pretty amazing hey like 360 cameras allow you to capture just it's almost unrealistic some of the footage and it's crazy to think that that's actually happening in real life uh, the unicorn mount was uh, obviously my favorite it definitely gave you a really different perspective of like mountain biking uh, I do think it would probably work best on a helmet that actually has a full face just to give you a little bit more support uh, because having that big mount on top of your head with just a strap under your chin isn't exactly the most comfortable thing um, but surprisingly when I had the camera leaning forward and had actually tied my helmet up a little bit it wasn't too bad um, in terms of like workflow uh, this is actually the second time I'm making this video because uh, the first time Premiere Pro crashed and I completely lost the video I had intentions of uploading it in like you know some pretty decent quality because I usually just stick to that 1080 life and I was like oh no I'll I'll do like 4k and then my 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro was like, hey man, that's not going to happen, and uh, I lost the video. So back to 1080 it is, because the majority of people, from my understanding, watch this stuff from their mobile, so shooting in 4K is pointless. <laughs> um, but in, uh, in terms of workflow, I have struggled a little bit with it. 
Um, I actually proxied these video files just because they're so big. Um, but you know, that's what I guess happens when you want to play with 360 cameras. You are technically using two different cameras stitched together to make one massive file, um, which is uh, pretty fun. Um, yeah, not, not, not fun, not fun. <laughs> uh, what I was really impressed with was uh, the workflow that is done with the new 360 app and the ability that how you can control the camera while connected to the app. Sorry, you can control the camera yeah, while you're on the app. Uh, and then even more to the point, uh, you know, you can film and then connect the app to the, obviously the camera and you can honestly download it to your camera, edit and then like share in like within two minutes. Like that workflow there was like really, really impressive. If you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, I, ha I was posting uh, some clips just straight after writing uh, that I edited just on the app and they were like really really fun really simple to use which is um, a super like beneficial thing when it comes to the workflow that's required for editing on a computer uh, versus the whole you know the capture share and go you know aspect of the world that we live in it's about sharing as quickly as possible so the app definitely um, makes that a pretty seamless transition in getting from like the camera to like your social platforms, which is really, really cool. And I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, obviously the app does have some limitations when it comes to keyframing and stuff like that. Uh, it is not extremely basic, but you have very limited control in your transitions from camera angles and stuff like that. But still for how uh, seamless and how frictionless it is, it is, it is really good. I guess the other thing that I uh, probably do need to mention is that the audio isn't exactly too crash hot. Uh, I had the wind noise, um, high wind noise turned on while mountain biking and you can still hear like the microphones like blowing out, which, you know, to some might be a deal breaker. Uh, to me, like I, I'm not going out mountain biking to listen to the sound of my bike, you know, so. It, it, it's not a huge deal breaker, uh, but I know for some it, that might be, uh, especially with how well the Hero uh, Max works with its audio. Um, but yeah, overall, like it's super fun. Like 360 footage is just, it's just, it's just insane. Hey, it's just like a completely different world of like footage. Um, but you know, I guess in terms of for me, like especially when it comes to mountain biking. Would it be a camera that I choose to take over, you know, a GoPro? I don't know. I really don't know. I have to play with it more. Uh, the variety is great. It's certainly great. Uh, I, I personally think that the whole interchangeable lens is more annoying than it is a positive thing. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just like, I, I, for me, when it comes to mountain biking, I want to be like riding with the... the, the the least amount of gear possible that can get the job done. <laughs> Especially when it's just a ride that's purely just for the act of riding. Uh, if obviously I'm going out to shoot something, like obviously I'm not really too fast, but like for me, I just want to be able to like, yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I definitely am, like I said, still blown away with it and I still think it is amazing, uh, but just still on the edge, but Excited to continue to work with them at work because it creates some sick, sick, sick content for the dome. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, because it's definitely a different angle for mountain biking. That's certain, that's, you know, pretty, you know, it's pretty present that it's completely different and you don't really see that too often. Um, is it something that you enjoyed watching uh, or was it not enjoyable? Do you just prefer the the chest cam, the helmet cam and stuff like that? Or was it cool to see the unicorn, uh, unicorn mounted action with all these different angles and different perspectives of when I go riding? Let me know, drop a comment down below. Um, but besides all that, if you'd like to um, subscribe to the channel, go for it. I know this video is a little bit late uh, and I'm very sorry. Uh, and then uh, if you like the video, maybe give it a, a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to donate to uh, mental health research, I am continuing to have this mullet for the month of, what are we in, September? Yeah, September. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go into my final stage of the mullet next week, so it's going to be filthy. 
Uh, but with that all said and done, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Get outside, create a capture, go for a pedal, uh, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video, whenever that is, because I don't even know when this video is going out. So, peace. <laughs> Bye.